I'm David Lemaitre and you're watching iConcerts, 100% of live music. I've been playing music since I can think of. Uh, I started very young in South America. My mother, she was always playing guitar and she's, a, she's an artist as well. And so I learned the first folk music songs as a child and it was a very long journey with different styles of music to like uh, decided to come to Europe after finishing school and I ended up living in Berlin where I have like all my friends are at and I have my own recording studio there where I started producing my music and playing in small cafes. I've just released my first record uh, last year and well, I probably don't want to tell you too much because there's <laughs> still a lot of questions to come, but um, maybe we'll take it from here, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> learning to see things break, learning to make mistakes, open skies, sparkle in the dark. I always compare making music to having like um, a lot of different disciplines that you have to, and I actually love that because it's not, it's like very period oriented. You have like this period where you have to just disappear and record and start to make something happen in the studio which is such a different environment than live music but I always say that I think if I wasn't playing concerts then I think probably music wouldn't mean as much to me as it does it's probably my favorite part of it through traveling and touring is also like so crazy and very harassing but um, it's, 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 it's something that's always appealed to me, the magic of stage. And I, you don't have that. It's like comparing making movies or playing theater, I guess. And I think this, this very unique moment that only happens once with everyone that gets on stage just gets me every time. You know, George, who's going to support us, is singing in the backstage. And there is something that you can sense when it's happening there. You know, it's not on a record, it's just there. And you want to be there. You know, that's what I like about live music. I've always looked for this very intimate and delicate sound in the record. It's like very close and I wanted to make something that sounds quiet even if you hear it loud. And so we're doing the same on stage. We have a lot of self-built instruments and stuff. So fortunately enough, it has been working that way. But yeah, I'm also like curious to find out what you can do when you start a new song. And now I know my band better and now I know my setup better and the way we can sound because before that I never made a big tour with a band and stuff. So I think for the next record it's going to be interesting to have that in mind a little bit and see what happens. See it doesn't feel absolutely strange anymore to go on stage so I just like to keep this like very natural not to make like oh, okay here we go but just try to go with the energies that I have before so I think it's quite the contrary yeah luckily enough I've just had uh, the chance to play a lot of concerts especially in the last year um, this year where I released my record was was crazy because uh, we, we made like two very big support st support tours through uh, Europe and playing my first on tour in, in Germany and Belgium here, coming to France a lot. So we've been able to just work on the material a lot and it feels different because songs like have grown a lot in this year. We started playing our own tours and we were just packing my, my own car as much as we could and driving throughout small cafes and it's like jokes that you can tell but nobody will understand but it's you know we ended up playing like in the weirdest situations that you can imagine and there was like this night uh, we were playing in Belgium where uh, the guy that was the cook for the venue he was also making the lights at our show and after that he was the DJ of the after party and I thought you know those things only happen at tour and that was one of them <laughs> I 
like two things that I would really love to do, uh, but one of them being very important at, at a given point, I would love to take back my music to South America because we haven't performed there. And I would like, we have had like a, a, a strong following from that side of the globe as well. And it would be very beautiful to do exactly what I was telling at the beginning, you know, to start to get live music over there as much as we can. That is definitely one, one dream that I have. And uh, the other one would uh, be because uh, I would really, really love to see Japan someday. And we're playing like Seba, uh, the violin player is also half Japanese and he's told us very much about it. So that's another yearning that I have to make music up there. But we'll see what happens. Chase you through the subway. 